Hi, everybody. How are you? How's, how's everybody today? Can you guys hear me? Hi, teacher. How are you? Hi, pretty good. How are you? Fine, thanks. Good, good. I'm, I'm glad to hear that. Okay. How was your How was your day today? Fine. Yeah. 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 Fine. Good. 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 Okay. How is everybody uh, with uh, this crazy weather? Everybody's okay. Yeah, here in Metapan, the weather is okay, only, uh, but in the morning, we had a little wind, windy, winding, no, winding is. Yeah, windy, windy, it was windy. Windy? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, it was actually very windy. Um, uh, at night, I couldn't sleep because I kept on waking up with the all the banging of the wind and um and also my, my even my door my my bedroom door was getting open so it was, i was i was not able to sleep very well yesterday lots of lots of problems yeah but you live in san salvador yeah i live in san salvador but okay. yes, that my house it, my my bedroom that is it my bedroom is on the second floor Mm -hmm. um and the 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 door of my bedroom is uh facing directly like outside it's not uh, oh. yeah so i have like a let's say like a like a hall i have a hall yeah. um it, in, in the second floor and then i have the stairs that go down to the first floor and so mm -hmm. my my bedroom door goes direct like the wind comes directly to, to the door. So it was very, um, it yeah. was very you know, windy and, and noisy and yeah. So it was, it was, it was kind of scary. <laughs> it was raining today. And it was raining today. Yes, it was, well, it was spinning. Let's say, you guys know that expression spinning? No. No? No. Okay. Uh, spinning means that it's, um, it's a green day. It's like a green day. It, it means that it's um, it's it's raining, but a little bit, just like like. Oh yeah. You know, like what we call in Spanish "germiendo." Mm, okay. Germiendo, yeah. So it, it's it was spitting um today, uh, all of today, but um, but nothing much. You can also say a drizzling. Drizzling is another word for it. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. All right. Well, guys, um, I'm glad to see you guys. Uh, we're going to start right away. Um, by the way, before we start, I, I want to know um, how many of you are, well, better said, you know what? Let's do something. Um, I'm going, well, there's still a lot of people that haven't joined our class today. Um, okay, I'll, t I'll take a poll later. Okay, so instead, what I'm going to do is I will um, um, okay, I'm going to start the whiteboard. Okay. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to start there. Okay, sorry. This is the present perfect. Uh, continues. Okay, let's talk about that.
sorry guys i i was muted okay um sorry what i was saying is that um it what we're supposed to be doing here with the present perfect continuous is um basically talking about what uh, things that we have been uh doing in the last uh in the like basically in the past but that has have continued up to the present right so if we were going to make a drawing okay let's see if we're going to make a drawing here um okay let's see over here so okay so like i said this is always the present okay and then we have over here. Okay. Um, so we have okay. So here's our present. Let's change the color. Okay, so if somebody comes over here in the present, okay, and they tell us right here, so what have you been doing? What have you been doing? And we're here into the present, okay? We're here in the present, and the person tells us, they ask us what we have been doing. What they're asking you is, what activity started in the past, okay? What activity started in the past? Let's say that it started over here. Okay. What activity started in the past and has continued up to the present? That's what we want to know. What activity started in the past and continues up to the present? Okay. Um, now, this activity might, might be finished up to the present okay it might finish right here or it might continue to the future right but what, what's really important is that this activity started in the past and it continues up to the present when it starts in the past that's really not important okay it's really not important uh when it starts it could start um sorry let me just change the, okay, there we go. All right, so it doesn't really matter when it starts in the past. It could start, um, you know, a long time in the past. But the important thing is that that activity continues up to the present. Okay, whether it finishes it or whether it continues to the future, that's really not important either. Okay, that's not really going to be an issue. But it is important to understand that that activity it may um, may continue to the future, but it's important that we know that that activity it has not been interrupted until the present. Does that make sense for you guys? Does that make sense or no? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Okay. And yes. I gave you an example yesterday. Okay, I'll give you an example. The example I gave you yesterday was, for example, I have been a studying English mm -hmm. for um, three years, let's see. So in this sentence, I'm actually going to change the color. Let's change it to a blue. Okay. So let's say that this this sentence here, we're talking about something that um that we're talking about something that um um. That continue it, it starts in the past, like that I said, 
it started in the past, the moment in the past, according to the center, it started three years ago. So that means that it started in 2017, right? That's what it would mean. Right? So that activity started in 2017, started learning English in 2017. And obviously you continue to learn English, right? So this activity continues all the way until this time. Now, maybe this, this, um, this, this activity was temporarily interrupted, maybe. Um, it doesn't mean necessarily that you study, that you've always been studying for three, uh, for three years and you've never stopped, but that's not what it means. What it means is that you started over here and you continue up to here, okay? So how, so basically, I'll, I'll give you another one. Okay. Um, let's say, we can also say, um, she, let me change the color. She hasn't been working since, 2000, I'm sorry, yeah, 2017. Okay, so same, same time frame, but put in a different way, okay? So in this one, I say, notice I can say, um, so notice in this one, I say that it's for, for three years. In this one, I say that it's since 2017, but basically it refers to the same thing. Yeah, it refers to the same thing because over here, what we're saying is that um, if this, this activity started three years ago, which comes to 2017. And here we're saying that it happened from the moment, the period of time since 2017 until this moment. So it's the same thing as say, uh, said, it, the same idea is said in different way, okay? But both of these ideas, what they're telling me is that the action started in the past and it continues all the way to the present, okay? Now, something else I want you to notice is the structure that we're using, okay? The structure that we're using to make the the the, the present perfect continuous is this: have been studying or hasn't been working. Okay, so uh, to clarify that, I'm going to write down. The subject, this is the structure. You're going to either use have or haven't, right? It depends if it's negative or has or hasn't plus verb plus. Ranging plus uh, complement. Teacher. Yeah. You forgot, Ben. Sorry. You forgot, Ben. Oh, thank you. You're absolutely right, thank you. Okay, let's put it in there. Okay. Yeah, it's a little bit long. <laughs> it's a little bit long. Okay, okay. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Okay, so that's our structure there. Okay. Um, so let me...
So here's our structure for the present perfect continuous. Actually, I'm going to make a little bit longer. Yeah, I'm going to make it longer because. Me too. Yeah. I have a question. Okay. In the present perfect continuous, we always uh, how to use BIM? Yes. Okay. Yes, that is, that is, yes, that's a, that's a definite yes. Let me just try to. After that, the bear with ING. Um, after bin, yes, the verb with the ING, yes, correct. Uh, okay, thank you. There we go. Now I got what I wanted. Teacher. Sure. Yeah. Another question. Mm -hmm. uh, which the correct pronunciation is Ben or Bean? Just give me a second. I will answer that question. Just give me one second so I can. making this a little bit more complicated just because it's not complicated enough. <laughs> okay. No, that's, I'm just joking. It's really actually not that complicated. It's just that it's long. It's not complicated. It's just long. Okay. Um, okay. So, uh, and then if you want, you can put four plus four plus the period of time um like period of time would be like a you know we can measure period of times like as in um minutes sorry we can measure it as in seconds minutes eight hours days weeks um months years decades um centuries and millennia right so those were the periods of time basically are 10 Periods of times where you could say that. And, or you could also use the word since, like in this case, and then the specific past time. The specific past time in this case would be uh, 2017. Okay. So that's um, basically what we're going to be uh, using. All right. Um, so there you go. So, uh, sorry, what was your question? Could you repeat that again? Uh, which is the correct pronunciation? Is Ben or Bean? Oh, okay. Um, uh, it would be ben, uh, ben. Ben. Okay. I'll listen. To, uh, people say Bean because it's confused. Uh, but uh, I understand that that sentence. But I think it's not correct pronunciation. Um. Sorry, you've heard what? What have you heard before? Could you repeat that? No, 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 teacher. I listen. People no, I... say say bean, but ah uh, yeah, at uh, I understand that sentence, and other people say men. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, the thing, okay, um, I'll tell you something. Uh, bin, Ben, Bin, Ben. Okay, you see that? So they're two different. However, I'll tell you something about English. Um, in English, there's there's actually not a very, with, with vowel sounds, sometimes it's a little bit fuzzy, that idea of, of it's, not, it's not as clear to, as in Spanish. Because we're, you've got to remember that um, in Spanish, 
the sounds of the of the vowels are very clear. Yeah, they're very clear. Um, the letter A sounds A, ah, it's always A. Ah. The letter um, E is always A. The letter I is always E. The letter O is always O. And the letter U is always U. That's in Spanish. And so it's very clear. But in English, you guys already know that it's not as clear. It, the letters have different sounds. And so that, that kind of allows for different people to um, make a little bit of change in the, in the, in the pronunciation. So it, you will hear people saying it different ways. And it's not necessarily like, so it's not a, let me, let me explain. It's not, it's not so, uh, what's the word? Mm, it's not so serious, let's say. Uh, people will still understand you and um, it, they probably won't even notice it very much that you are changing. The, the 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 sound a little bit okay but it only if the sound is very slightly different people will still understand you okay does that make sense okay okay yeah. but it's kind of like the difference between british english and american english you know sometimes you uh you will have a set a word and um like for example think about the word Think about this word. Let me see. Okay, think about this word right here. If you ask somebody from the United States, they would say that's water. Water, right? But if you ask yeah. somebody from the from the United Kingdom, they would say water, water, right? So the wa uh uh this was this is a uh sound, right? Wa uh water, and in and the American English will say wa water wa wa oh uh, oh uh. the sound is oh, uh, right? Oh, uh, not uh. Does that so? Do you see? It's very. It's a small difference, but it's, it does sound differently in the end. So like I said, it, it, it yes, um, you will get different spell, um, you will get different sounds in both, um, it, depending on where the person is from. And I just, I'm saying this, I'm taking my time to explain this to you because I want you to understand that just because someone pronounces something differently uh, from the way that you are, used to hearing it doesn't necessarily mean that they're pronouncing it incorrectly. It may be just from the region that they are from, you might hear it a little bit different. Okay, does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, teacher, yeah, okay. thanks. Good. Yeah, yeah, and, and it's, it's a cultural difference, right? Like I said, it's, it's, big, it's sometimes not it's a little bit difficult for sometimes Spanish speakers to understand that because in Spanish, everybody, you know, the sound is always going to be the same and it's always going to be correct a certain way. But in English, it's not so clear sometimes and really depends on the region you're from. Okay, so anyway, um, oh, but the what is very clear, guys, what I do want to clarify about this is that even though there might not be a very, very big difference between these two, but there is a clear difference between this word right here, okay? So this and this is not said the same way. Uh, some people, some students ask me, teacher, how do I know when it's this word, right? And how do I know when it's this word? Well, the difference will be, one of the biggest difference is that this one is one syllable. Okay, bin, bin. And this one is 
be in, be in. So it's two syllables. Okay, so that that does have a clear difference. Okay, it's not so much a matter of the uh, the vowel sound. It's more about also uh, the syllables. This one is one syllable. This one is two. Is that clear for everybody? Mm, yeah. Okay. Yeah, teacher. Okay. All right. So guys, um, what I want you to do, I asked you for homework. I hope everybody had the opportunity to do it. I asked you guys for homework to, um, to write down eight activities that you have been doing in the last eight, sorry, in the last five years. Did everybody do that? Everybody did this? I hope so. Did everybody do that? No? Yes, I hope so. <laughs> okay. All right. What I'm going to do. Yeah. Yes? Okay. Good. I hope so. And if you haven't, do it really quickly. Because what I'm going to get you guys to do is I want you, we're going to be creating a conversation. Okay. And in this conversation, I want you to um, pretend that you are two friends that are meeting each other um, after, you know, five years of not seeing each other. You know, we sometimes have those kind of friends. By the way, you can take a picture right now because I'll be taking this off in a moment and I don't want you, I want you to have the information. Okay. All right. So uh, what I want you guys to do right now then is I'm going to be putting you into breakout rooms again. Okay. And you are going to be working with your partner, uh, making the conversation as if you were two friends uh, that you've never, you haven't seen each other for five years. You haven't talked for five years. You know, you guys, oh, there's always one of those friends where you, you know your friends, you've been friends for a long time, you just don't see the person very often. So, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna catch up with your friend. You're gonna talk and you're gonna say, hey, how you doing, how you been, you know? And then you're gonna be asking your partner, what have you been doing? What have you been doing? ¿Qué has estado haciendo? Okay? And I want you to tell your partner, eh, but all the things that you're, it, it's going to be a conversation. You're going to tell part, you know, partners uh, what you have been doing, but don't just say, I have been doing this, and I have been doing this, and I have been doing this, and I have been doing that. No, I want you to, it's a conversation, right? So I want you to tell your partner, yes, I've been doing this. Oh, and your partner's going to react and you're going to say, really? Wow, that sounds interesting. Well, you know, how long have you been doing it? Uh, you know, do you like it? Blah, 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 whatever, right? Okay, so the idea here is to have a conversation. So I'm going to give you mm, 15 minutes, okay? Let's have you guys do it. 15 minutes, the conversation, create the conversation. And after 15 minutes, I'm gonna get you guys to present in front of the class. Okay, sounds good? Okay. Okay, okay, yeah. teacher. Okay, wonderful. All right, and I'm really happy that I don't I, I don't catch if somebody that's connected or Sonia's partner. Perfect, because that makes everybody have um, partners. Everybody's gonna have a partner. So let me uh, let me make the groups here. So I'm gonna open it for 15 minutes, and I'm gonna be coming around just like all the time. Uh, to help you out if you guys have any questions, I'll come coming around to help. You. Okay, there we go. Go ahead, open a. Go ahead and join your go groups. Ahead.
uh, for presently, example, presently entering the class. Oh, we need to, to talk about five example uh, using a perfect, uh, present perfect continue. Do you remember the structure? Girls, do you have any questions? No, teacher. Sonia recently entered to the classes. Oh, right, that's true. Okay, Sonia, uh, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah. So uh, I'm just. Um, I was uh, before you were you came in. I was explaining to the class that what we're going to be doing is uh, creating a conversation uh, between two friends that just like imagine that you and they said were uh, friends that were you were um, you hadn't seen each other for for five years and you're gonna be telling each other what you have been doing. So you're gonna be asking your partner, uh, what have you been doing? And it's like, ¿Qué has estado haciendo, right? And you're going to um, talk about the activities using the structure that we saw yesterday at the end of the class. I reviewed that today as well. It's basically subject plus have or has plus been, the letter, the, the word been, and uh, plus the verb, plus ing, and a complement if you need it. For example, I have been studying English for three years. I haven't been working, et cetera, et cetera. Does that make sense? Okay. Okay. All right. So go ahead and with Lisa and create the conversation. And after I will come, uh, uh, we were, we're going to be presenting in front of the class. Okay? Okay, teacher. All right. All right, go for it, please. Hi, Claudia. Claudia? Hi, Hi what happened? I am not long in this group. <laughs> yeah, that's what I noticed. What happened? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe no. I am to talk with, with me. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. They there was originally there was there were two there were supposed to be two people in this group. Okay, so what I'll just do then. Um, so you have been alone since the beginning. Yes. So Last when you came into the group, there was nobody else with you? Yes, at the beginning, nothing connect. Uh, nobody else had connected? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But it was weird because then I didn't notice who was supposed to be with you, to be honest. But I did know that there were exactly 14 students, which means that everybody was supposed to have a partner. But I guess the person that was assigned with you, maybe they lost connection. So what I'll do is I'll just um, send you over to, um, to work with another group and you'll just make a group of three. Okay, is that okay, Claudia? Okay, thank you. Okay, all right. Sorry about that. Okay, so okay. I'm gonna move, move you right now to group number one, okay? Okay, teacher, thank you. You're welcome. And two cats. <laughs> so I have five cats. Wow. It's amazing. I have, dogs. I have cats. <laughs> um, oh, do you love dogs? <laughs> what? Do you love dogs? <laughs> I don't understand that. So 
Do you like dogs or do you love dogs? I love Think dogs. I love, perros. <laughs> I love the dogs, but is a big dog or a small dog? Because small uh, don't like me because uh, I don't know, but too small, I don't like it. I like a big dog, like a Rottweiler, like a... Siberian like a, uh, Oh? Siberian Husky? Always. I want... <laughs> I, I could... I wish I could once they have one of that dog. I love that dog. Always. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry you, I have to interrupt. Four Siberian Husky. Oh? So I don't want to, I don't, I don't mean to interrupt. I just wanted to mention something. Uh, Lenny, you said, um, you talked about dogs, right? Um, and you said, I don't, uh, I don't like, no, it don't like me or something like that, right? It don't like me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, be careful how, what you're, um, how you say that. You're trying to say no me gustan, right? Uh-huh. Okay. It, so what you have to do there is start with I. I don't like them. I don't like them. I don't like them, yes. Okay. Okay. I don't like because when you say it don't, don't like me, um, or it doesn't like me, what you're saying is eh, yo no les gusto a ellos. Oh my god. <laughs> so it could be the possibility, right? But yeah. normally no, Sometimes right? Sometimes happen. <laughs> yeah. No, normally no. Okay, so just be careful. So we'd say I don't like them. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, do you guys understand what we're doing? Any questions that you have for me? Um actually no. No? It's a little difficult to me, but I try. Okay. Do you have questions that I can help you with? Um, maybe not because I have to learn the structure. Oh, okay. All right. So, um, yeah, the more practice you have, the more, the, the easier it will be. Okay. So, okay. um, that's the idea with this activity. All right. So continue working on it and I'll, if you guys need any help, I'll come around. Um, okay. Just ask for my help. Okay. Okay. All right. Great. Okay. Well, I, mean, uh, I <laughs> yes, I'm very country. Is uh, your people is uh, excellent because um, I remember uh, in Santa Rosa de Copan the people uh, very uh, friendly. Amigables. Amigables. <laughs> yeah. Friendly. Amigables? Sí, yeah. Okay. Um, when I go to the Honduras, um, I don't know, uh, how do you say? Um, fue hace tanto tiempo que, para decirle que el lugar que fuimos, en algunos no había ni corriente. Hace mucho tiempo. Oh, It's a very long yes. time. Mm -hmm. Long time. Yeah. I remember. Uh, Do you guys need any help? Any questions you want to ask me? Uh, not teacher. Thank you. Sure. Yeah. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. You want to ask question, Richard? No. Okay. okay. Thank you. You're welcome. If you need help, uh, just you can ask for my help. Okay. Okay. okay, thank you. All right. Richard. You're welcome. Okay. Um. Uh huh. No, 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 Ah, sí, yo le estuve viendo y dije, aquí, ¿qué voy a poner? Do you guys need help? Hello. Hi, do you need any help? No. 
we are talking about the the platform. Oh, okay, but do you are you doing the conversation because you're going to be presenting in front of the class? So yes, yeah, you're okay. Okay, good. Any questions you you have for me? Something I can help you with? No. Okay. All right. Wonderful. Uh, if you guys need any help, just call me over. I'll be around. Okay. 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 Teacher. Yeah. Uh, the present perfect continue is yeah. like when you begin to do something and to the um, the date you begin is not finished to now. That's right. Yeah, it continues up to the present. Okay. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yeah. Any other questions you have? No. Okay. Okay. All right. So you, I, if you need anything, just uh, ask for help and I'll come over. Sorry? If you guys need any help, just ask for help and I'll come over. Okay. I'm going to go to visit the other groups. Okay. 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 Se fue de aquí de la casa los... Hola. Hi, girls. Are you having any problems? Hi, can you hear me? Hello, teacher. Hi, are you having any problems? No. Uh, estamos mezclando el inglés con el español. <laughs> okay, try not to do that, okay? Because the whole idea here is to help you if you guys um, like if you are able to um, just stick to one language, it's it will be better uh, because that way your brain doesn't get so confused. Okay, so just okay. just keep it in, in English. Okay. But do okay. you guys understand any questions you have? Yes. Any questions? You have a question, Irania? No, it's okay. 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 If you have any questions, I'll thank you. So we're, we're going to only stay for like two more minutes, and then we'll come. We're going to go back to the main session. Okay. So, um, please uh, finish up, wrap up the conversation. Okay. 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 Okay, okay, metapan, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Metapan. Okay. Mm -hmm. And yo puedo decir, eh, this week, mm -hmm. this this week I have been visiting Metapan too. Okay. Y yo esta semana he estado visitando Metapan también. Ok. Um, creo que ahí vamos bastante, ¿verdad? Sí, yo creo que okay. sí. Si quiere, practicamos ahorita. Ajá. Ahorita. Uh, hello, Delia. Hi, um, Jonathan. ¿Y tú? No, no, no. Solo hello. Hello. Ah, ok. Uh, ok. Hello. Hello. Uh, how are you? Hello, Jonathan. How are you? Uh, how, how are you? How, how, fine, Jonathan. And you? Uh, I have a nice week too. Um, tell me, how have you been doing for the last week? Um, I have been, been working to Monday and Friday. 
and I have been resting on the weekend. And you, oh. Jonathan? Okay, Delia, you have a nice week. Um, I have been traveling around El Salvador because my job is a driver and I have been visiting different places in the country. On the weekend, I have been visiting my parents because they live in Metapan. Ah, okay, nice. This week, I have been visiting Metapan too. Mm. Okay. No sé cuándo nos tardamos, pero creo que... Okay, welcome back class. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do is be presenting. Okay, so we'll start in, um, in order. We'll have uh, group number one. Okay, so we'll start with group number one. So that would be Claudia, Lisette, and Sonia. All right, so go ahead and present your conversation. Okay, teacher, our conversation was about how many years do I study English? Yes. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> we study English in different, in different uh, moments of our life. For example, the uh, we study English when I was studying in our career. And, and we talk different courses about English. And we talk about that in specific topic. <laughs> okay, okay, but I want to hear the conversation. One by one. Yeah, like the okay. actual conversation. So hi, how are you doing? Blah, blah, blah. Hi. Yeah. So I want to hear the conversation. We don't prepare any specific conversation. <laughs> <laughs> but, but we okay, can well, really do it right now. Yeah. Whatever you, you talked about, do it right now, just like you did it before. We start the conversation mm -hmm. with one question. How long would we we've been studying English? For example, in, in my okay, <laughs> okay, go ahead. <laughs> oh, okay, I don't know. <laughs> okay, for example, in my case, I sell to my friends, my group, that I was studying English uh, for one year um, okay. but Claudia I I was studying or I was studying is Joyce who was studying but remember we're using it's the been. present perfect uh, continuous so that I have be. been studying sorry I have been studying I have been studying very good uh -huh. good I, yes, I have been studying English for one year but in the past, when I was study um, at the university, I study uh, I studied English for one or two years. But now I have one years to study. But in different course, I sell to my 
group that I have two course, but now I only stay in this course because I was studying in, in a course in, at the university, but I decided to leave that course and I only study with this course. Only that. Okay, all right, thank you very much. Round of applause for group number one. Very good, excellent, bravo. Very good, okay. All right, good, now uh, group number two, that's uh, Lennon and Marcella. Okay. Okay. Uh, do you do you are you ready, Lenin? I think so. I hope so. I don't know. Well, hi. How have you been? Uh, hi, Lenin. Well, let me tell you. Um, today I have been studying English a lot uh, before the class. <laughs> Okay. And at the beginning of the day, I have been preparing my breakfast because I had I had to work a lot, and I I have been uh, telling you I work so hard uh, in the whole day, and and I. I I have been working so hard okay. this day, yesterday, and every day, every single day of the week. Okay. <laughs> and and after after working, I have been um, running with my dog, and, and I have uh, uh, several dogs. I have. To match dogs. <laughs> yeah, I like that dogs. <laughs> I love them too. <laughs> and what about you? What happened? What have been you doing today? Well, this week uh, I have been helping to build a new kitchen for my house. So uh, it's very hard. My hands it's hard uh, because I. I um, touch, I don't know how to say mezcla. Mix? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> mix? I don't know. Probably. I don't know. I think so. so. my hands hurt me because uh, I have sensibility for that. Uh, and I have been uh, study uh, English too. And I have been, ah, Learn to cook something new. Today I made uh, uh, beans with skin of pig. So it was delicious. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> but I have been to uh, playing with my children and I have been this, uh, I have been visiting to my mother because it was the beer day. So many activities this week. Uh, and I'm very tired. interesting. And I'm Let tired. me tell you, very, very interesting. Okay. Um, I don't know how to say more. <laughs> and what have you been doing lately? Lately? Yeah, mm. for example, I have been doing lately um a few days ago i have been visiting to my the grave of the grave of my grandmother and my father with my family my mother my sister and her husband and what about you well um i have been uh, working with my laptop because uh, I have, uh, I don't made a reporter, a report that my boss asked to me. So I have been that work. Uh, I don't know how, that was correct. 
Okay, good. Yeah, no, that's fine, guys. All right. Yeah, that's that's good though. All right, so bravo, very good. Excellent. Okay, yes, very, very good. Okay, uh, just be careful. Remember that this is an activity, we're talking about activities that have been progress until this moment. Okay, so if you if you did something in the past, <clears throat> excuse me, if you did something in the past, but it's not something that you're doing until this moment, you wouldn't be using the present uh, perfect continuous. For example, you wouldn't be able to say um, something like, um, I have been graduating because graduating is not an activity that you continue to do, right? It's an activity of boom, it happens, it stops, it's finished, right? It doesn't continue. You, don't, you can't say, yo me he estado graduando because it doesn't make sense. That idea of graduating, it's not an activity that you continues for a period of time, okay? So just be careful about that. All right, um, I have taken note of uh, the groups that we did yesterday, uh, that we did today. Because of time, we won't be able to hear every all the groups, but we're gonna continue with it tomorrow, okay? I took a picture there of the group, so I know who was working with whom, and we're gonna be presenting tomorrow. Sounds good? Good, teacher. It's good. Yeah, sounds good, everybody? Yeah. Okay, good, excellent. All right, guys, so that will be all for today. I will see you guys uh, tomorrow. And remember, work on the platform. We need to finish, this week, we need to finish up to section three, okay? By the end of the, okay. uh, or the beginning of the next week, we should have finished section three. So continue working, okay. work, 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 okay? All right, guys. Okay. See you tomorrow. Take care. Bye. 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 Good night. Bye. Good night. 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 Good night.